Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, just thought I would do another collection update. The last collection video I did was back in June and a lot has changed since June. I mean, we've gotten so many figures this year, so things look a little different now. So I just thought I would share, you know, kind of an end of the year collection update. And I also want to thank everyone for 5K. About a month ago, I surpassed 5,000 subscribers and I just want to thank all of y'all. I mean, <laughs> I appreciate everybody, each and every one of you. So thank you so much for 5K. And let's keep going. Let's keep moving up and up. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. I know I say this in every collection video that I've done, but just in case there are any new faces here, I'm going to say it again. So, so as far as how I have this arranged, so these are in chronological order as far as timeline. Okay, It starts up there in the top left corner and goes down to A New Hope and then jumps over to that shelf with Empire up top and ending with the sequel trilogy. So let's start up there. So for Knights of the Old Republic, I've got both versions of Revan and Zalbar, then the Gaming Greats, Bastila Shan and Darth Malak, Darth Nihilus, and then the Gaming Greats, Darth Malgus from the Old Republic, Sith Apprentice Maul, and then the knockoff Maul in the back, Jar Jar, Qui-Gon, some battle droids, the 2D Clone Wars Mace, and the Clone Lieutenant, Phase one. I've got a couple of phase one shinies there, and one of those was a $5 Ross find. And then the 2D Clone Wars Arc Trooper, then Jedi Knight Obi Wan, Padme, Padawan Anakin, Plo Koon, Yoda. I just opened the robe a little bit to make him look a little more prequel ish. Then Kit Fisto, Ada Secura, Mace, Dooku, and Ventress. The next shelf down continues the Clone Wars era. So I have Aura Singh and Cad Bane and the Magna Guard in the back, and they are on some Landspeeder Luke stands that were sent to me by a subscriber. Thank you so much for those. And up front, got the Target exclusive Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Echo. And then Padawan Ahsoka right up front. And then Fives and Jesse. And then in the back, I have what clone commanders I do have. Still minus Fox. I've got the Hascon exclusive Rex right in the center. And then the Umbra operative. Hawk, target exclusive, and then the Battlefront 2 Rocket Trooper, the 187th, 212th, and 501st, and then in the back, I've got Pre Vizsla, the Super Commando, and the Loyalist, and they are definitely on some Landspeeder Luke stands, because these three guys do not stand, so that is practically required for those, but yeah, they look good, they just don't stand up. And I've got Season 7 Ahsoka, flanked by a couple of her 332nds, Clone Wars Maul, Episode 3, Archive Anakin. That was a gift, so thank you so much. I'm sure you're watching, so thanks again for that. Episode 3, Obi-Wan, and yes, he is propped up on a stand so he can have the high ground. And then Commander Apo. And now we're getting into the Bad Batch. So that Kit Bash in the back, that was a gift from a subscriber. Pretty cool little Kit Bash, I like it. And then Bad Batch, got Rex, and then the main crew right up front, and that... Omega, so I put the head on season two Omega on this season one body, and that is 100 times better. And then Cad Bane, Bracca, and then in the back, I've got Imperial Crosshair flanked by a couple of his elite squad troopers, and then Rampart and a couple of shock troopers, and I did take the pauldron off of one, so I've got a commander and a grunt. And then finishing up the Bad Batch display, so here is season two, and I love the colors on their new armor. Season two Omega is surprisingly good. And then Tarkin in the back, so that was a $9 Ollie's find, and I painted his hair brown, right, to make him look a little younger, so I've got him in the back. Now we're getting into Jedi Fallen Order, with the 13th Battalion. That cow, I still need to find the original cow, but he'll do for now. Got the Boggling and BD there. The Scout Trooper from Fallen Order, Rocket Launcher Trooper, Flame Trooper, and then a couple of Knight Brothers in the back. Second Sister and a couple of Purge Troopers. Now we're getting into Jedi Survivor. So I have the Riot Scout, this cow, Battle Droid, and that uh, KX Security Droid, and both of those are on stands. The Battle Droid actually stands okay, but just for a little peace of mind, I did put him on one of those. And again, same subscriber sent me those. And those things are invaluable. But yeah, that KX Droid will not stand. So I have him on a stand that has a little back to it you know, to help him out. Now we're getting into Solo, so I've got the Patrol Trooper, I've got a couple of Mimbin Hans, and the one that's in the back, I really dirtied him up you know, with a dark wash, make him look extra funky. But 
the figures from Solo all look so good. I mean, whether you like the movie or not, the figures look amazing. Val and Tobias and Rio. So Tobias and Rio were gifts from a subscriber. If you're watching, thanks so much. Alec, Range Trooper, Dryden Boss. So that Chewie was a gift. Thanks again. Kira, Young Han, and Young Lando. Now we're getting into Kenobi. So Tibidon Station, Tika, Tala. I I still have to do, do a review for Tala. I have the intro recorded, obviously, because she's on the shelf. So I've got the intro done. I just have to do the review. And then got Wandering Jedi and Kenobi Vader. And in the back, got One Jack and Ned B. And I weathered Ned B. That that Tonka truck yellow was just too much. So I weathered him and did some silver dry brushing on him as well as the hammer you know, to make him look a little more screen accurate, you know, a little more lifelike. So I'm happy with how that turned out. And Kenobi continues on the next shelf with the Inquisitors. I've got a couple of the Walmart exclusive Purge Troopers in the back. I've got Jabim Obi-Wan, Duels in Vader. Absolutely love that Vader. And then the Jedi Legend Obi-Wan, love that figure. Now we're getting into Rebels. We've got the Rebels crew along with the Target exclusive Hondo and Thrawn and the Gaming Greats Maul from Battlefront 2. I love this Maul and since it's so you know similar to his look in Rebels, I have him in the Rebel section. And now we're moving into Andor. So I have just the plain white Phase 2 clone in the Andor section because you know these guys were seen with this guy in Andor. So I have him there. And whether you like Andor or not, the figures all look really good. I mean, I really enjoyed Andor. Now, figures like Bix and Mon Mothma and Luthen, you know, you can't really do much with them, but they look great on the shelf. And this Cassian and B set, I got it on sale, but lately I've been seeing it on a deep sale. I mean, it's it's been kind of cheap lately, but that's a cool set. Um, that Cassian, I really like. Vel. Vel is probably the weakest figure in the line so far. It's okay. In, in the back, I've got the short trooper and a couple of the Ferrex officers. And that second one, that is the head from the G.I. Joe uh, classified series Snake Eyes. Okay, so I've got some variety there. That actually turned out pretty good. And then Rogue One starts here. So I've got the photo reel updated, Jin and Cassian, and then the original Jin and Cassian in the back. K2, so I fixed his eyes, and of course I have him on a stand, because that bastard will not stand up. And then Bodhi, Edu Cassian in the back, and Chirrut, and Baze. Oh, and I've got Baze propped up on this wall, because he won't stand up. And Rogue One picks up on the next shelf with Saul Gerrera, Antok, who is way too short, Galen, the hover tank pilot, the target exclusive mountain trooper I put over here, because of the helmet design. Oh, actually, one more thing. Let me jump back up here. So I used the Mountain Trooper's blaster for this Cassian, okay, to make him look a little more screen accurate. But yeah, the Mountain Trooper's pretty cool figure. Not the best articulation, but I do love the look of him. So I put him over here in the Rogue One section, and then the Jetta Patrol Trooper, and then in the back, I've got a couple of Shore Troopers and Death Troopers flanking Krennic. And then we're getting into A New Hope. So I have the George Lucas Trooper right up front since he started everything, and then 3PO that I actually weathered you know, just a little bit to make him look a little dingy. That is the Bandai Model Kit R2 that I weathered. It looks pretty good. I mean, the scale is great. Now, this 3PO there, that was a an Ollie's find. It was like $9.99. I painted it and weathered it to make U3PO. Okay, that was the silver droid that was seen at the at the very beginning of A New Hope. I am super happy with how that turned out. The paint and the weathering, I'm happy. I love that. Then in the back, I've got the Battlefront Shock Trooper, Stormtrooper Commander, and the Shadow Trooper. Then the Rebel Fleet Trooper, that is the Legacy Vader, and Tarkin, and the Interrogator Droid in the back. And then the Death Star Trooper. That Stormtrooper is the one that came with all the blast accessories. We have the Arns Pauldron Sand Trooper. So I purchased Ponda Baba and Dr. Evazan individually. And then I found this Obi-Wan on Facebook Marketplace, and a subscriber sent me the bar. Okay, he bought the full set, but he didn't want the bar. He just wanted the figures. So he sent me the bar. So if you're watching, thank you so much again. And then I have the cups from Bib Fortuna just kind of scattered about the bar. So yeah, super happy with, with the little Cantina Showdown, you know, kind of pieced together, but I'm happy to have it. 
and then Greedo, and then the modal nodes. So I recently weathered the instruments like the uh, Fanfar, and then the Gassan string drum, and the Omnibox. I weathered just a dark wash and some silver dry brushing to make them look a little more lifelike. Super happy with how that turned out. And then this base, it used to be a little bit darker. I just recently repainted that more of a Tatooine tan, so I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. And then this shelf ends with Han, Luke, and Leia. And down here on the bottom shelf, I've got Luke and Han in Stormtrooper Disguise, and both of those were gifts from two different people. So if you guys are watching, thanks so much. Got X-Wing Luke, that's the archive. And then this little Yavin ceremony display that I built out of styrofoam. It's okay, it serves its purpose. And then that's the archive Chewy. And then some comic figures, Leia, Creel, and Mike. Love these three. And jumping over to this shelf, I will just start up top with Hoth, since that's the first thing we really see in Empire is Hoth. So I've got Han and Luke and Chewie, and I actually weathered Han's binoculars, painted them, you know, make them look a little more lifelike. Leia, a couple of Hoth troopers there, and then Veers flanked by a couple of at, -AT drivers or ad, ad drivers. You say what you want to say. I don't care. I can't remember who it was, but one person actually wanted to argue ATAT -AT versus ADAT. -AT. I don't care, whichever you prefer. But yeah, that's that's that. And then the probe droid. That was my very first figure. That's what started it all. And then a snow trooper and then snow speeder Luke. And if we jump back over here, I made this very, very basic Dagobah display out of styrofoam, some rocks and some aquarium plants. So I have the got the Luke and Yoda set there, and then Dagobah Luke and Dagobah R2. And I've got Piet up front, Dengar that is kind of hidden by the support, but Dengar's there. This Boba, so that is the Bandai Model Kit Boba Fett. I weathered it, painted it, very happy with how that one looks. And then Prototype Boba, Droids Boba that I turned into Holiday Special Boba, you know, painting the rifle. That looks good, pretty accurate. And then just the regular Empire Boba, that was a gift. Thank you again if you're watching. Zuckus, Forlam. Um, I still lack Bosk and IG-88. One day, one day hopefully. And then Jackson and Han and Lando and Chewie and 3PO. So this Chewie 3PO, that was the set, right? That's the 3PO that comes apart. It can go on, on Chewie's back. It's a great looking 3PO. Just have him assembled. One of the new R2s there. I have three of them, but I've got one there and over here. Got Luke and Vader battling and a TIE fighter pilot. And the next shelf down is the Jedi shelf, but I do have Dr. Afra here because as far as timeline, she kind of fits in between Empire and Jedi. So I have her there. Got a couple of Gamorrean guards, got 3PO and another R2. And I painted this 3PO's foot, okay, gold, because he did have a gold foot in Jedi. All right, so that's that. Then got the indoor crew with Luke and Leia and Han, another Leia. Okay, got that for like 10 bucks. Couldn't resist. And the Ewoks, Tebow, Wicket, and Paplu. Love those. There's a couple of Rebel Commandos. Now Jabba, that was a Father's Day gift from my kids. Love that set. And I made that throne out of styrofoam, joint compound. A subscriber sent me the heads, the Cyclops heads. Thank you so much for those. Those are awesome. I painted those, did some gold dry brushing on them. Yeah, the throne turned out okay, but I am super happy with that set, you know, being the centerpiece of the Jedi display. Just very, very happy with that. And then Bib Fortuna and Boba. And then let me jump back over here with Bush, Leia, Chewie, and Lando. And then coming back down, got the peg warmer, good old General Lando. I actually love that figure. Akbar with his mouth open. You know, you know what he's saying. And a couple of scout troopers, and then palps flanked by a couple of royal guards and some stormtroopers. Then over here on the end, I've got Luke and Vader battling. And we have Inferno Squad, the rocket trooper, and then Mara Jade in the back, and Kirkanos. And the next shelf down starts with the Mandalorian. So I have my small band of credit collection figures there, and that Cara Dune was a gift. Thanks again for that. And I did recently find this at Ross. For $3.99, could not pass that up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a review on this one. I do love the colors. I did a review on the blue one, and that video actually did pretty well, you know, for me. So I may do a review on 
this version. Okay, comment below. But yeah, three ninety nine at Ross could not pass that up. But yeah, that's my small little gathering of credit collection with Mando, Tuscan Raider, Kara, IG eleven, and then Death Trooper and Moff Gideon in the back. And then moving on, I have the first look for Mando, the regular IG eleven. That's underscaled, but he's there. And then Queel and the Muddy Mando set, Off World Jawa. Death Watch Mando, the client, the first grief, the armorer, Paz Vizsla, or, well, at the time it was the heavy infantry Mandalorian. And then Zero, and then a couple of security droids, season one Migs, Kara, and Beskar Mando. Jumping back up here, we have Migs and Din in their tank pilot outfits. And then season two Grief. Tuscan Raider, put him over here because of that scene with Cobb and, and Din Djarin in Season 2. And then Ahsoka, Grogu there. And then if I come around here, we got the three-pack with Din, Ahsoka, and Grogu. And I have Grogu sitting on a little rock that I found out in my yard. And then I have the Maldo Crease set in the back. And I did paint the eyes on the spider. It's practically required. So yeah, that is that shelf. So the Mandalorian picks up on the next shelf, and I've got Bo and Costco right up front, and then Trapper Wolf and the carbonized Scout Trooper in the back. I've got Axe Woves, the Artillery Trooper, Flame Trooper, regular Storm Trooper, Moff Gideon, a couple of Dark Troopers, Season 2 Mando Luke with yet another R2, and then Boba, Finnick, another Boba, and another Boba. And speaking of Boba, so now we're getting into the Book of Boba Fett with the Luke and Grogu set. Black Crescentin, and then the Cobb and Cad 2-pack. Now, moving into Ahsoka. So that HK droid, that is the red one. Okay, that is just, that was just off. Way too red. So I did a dark wash from head to toe. Painted the visor, painted the bits on the face. Gave him some silver dry brushing throughout, you know, to make him look a little battle-worn. Very happy with how that turned out. And I used the staff from the Magna Guard. Okay, give him something to hang on to. Yeah, that turned out good. Then we have Ezra, and then Morgan back there, and then Maroc. I did a dark wash on him to make him look a little better. I like it now. Chopper, Hera, Sabine, and Hu Yang. And back there, I have this little stand preemptively set up for Balin and Shin, and I have a little bump up there for Balin to make him look a little taller. So that is that shelf. And down here on the bottom, we have the sequel trilogy, and I'm literally just laying on the floor now. But back there in the back, we have that funky Ray. That is the Archive, Force Awakens Han. General Leia, that was a gift. Got some troopers, snow trooper, flame trooper, and I guess it's like a riot trooper. Got that Ray, which is actually a pretty good looking Ray. That is the Black Series BB-8. This one right there, that is the Model Kit BB-8. And I just recently weathered that one. I love that. I mean, that is, it's such a good kit and he looks awesome once he's painted. DJ, he was a freebie. That's the only reason he's here. And then Poe, that was a $5 Ollie's fine. Zoe Bliss, that Ray, again, great looking Ray. And a couple of Jet Troopers, Kylo, and then a Sith Jet Trooper on the end. And over here, sitting on top of this still functioning VCR, is the Speeder Bike, Scout Trooper, and Grogu set. Very happy to have that one. It's just it's just big. I just have it over here by itself just to conserve shelf space. And one more thing since I'm here. G.I. Joe Classified Series. All of these were Ross and Ollie's finds. Croc Master was 12 bucks. Absolutely love it. The rest of these were $6 and under. Could not pass them up. You know, I, I was not planning on starting another line, but when I saw these, I said, okay, five bucks, can't resist. And these are great. These are absolutely wonderful figures. I was blown away at how good the G.I. Joe Classified Series figures are. So yeah, that's my small gathering of Joes. And since we've kind of strayed off topic, I'll go ahead and show you. I've got a couple of NECA figures, Predator and the Big Chap Alien. Love those two. And then I have a little gathering here. That Four Spirit Yoda was a gift, but he just doesn't fit in with the display. So I have him over here next to Pikachu, this guy, this skull, and a 50 caliber round. And on the top of the desk here, I've got just some odds and ends that Groot, 
that Star Destroyer, that's from 1978. My small collection of Funkos, that's all I have. And then my Falcon from 1978. And sitting here on the other side of the desk, I do have my one Adventure Series figure that's Indy from Raiders. I was a huge fan of Raiders when I was a small child, so happy to have that one. And then I have a small gathering of Power of the Force, Episode One, and Power of the Jedi figures still on card. Those were all gifts, and this was also a gift, too, this Dr. Afra comic set. Very happy to have that one. In this next room, I'll just go wide angle. So this is the loud room. Okay, this is where I have my drum kit. But on these shelves, I have all the boxes, and it's starting to almost max out. Not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, I thought it was a good idea at the time, but it's, it's starting to take up a lot of space. But I have these in, in order, okay, starting with the Phantom Menace, going all the way down. Okay, so this shelf ends with, well, it, well with Zeb. It starts Rebels. But then on the bottom, I have the, the Deluxe, and then the Probe Droid box I have front and center, because that was my very first one. And, of course, the Hascon exclusive Rex I have showing there. And then the next shelf starts with, with Rebels and goes in chronological order all the way down, and it ends with Ahsoka, and then that's the box for Cassian and B. And then my little desk here, this is where I do my reviews, and this little Lego set, I think my daughter got me that several years ago, and then that's the Luke with the milk that came with uh, Lego Star Wars, and then this car was a gift, if you're watching, thanks again, but I have the vintage collection Ahsoka and Finnick there with this car, okay, that was actually a a prize from Out of the Basement's giveaway. I won, can't remember what place I won. I guess I was second place. So yeah, that's that. I think they look pretty good with Ahsoka being on top of that car. And then I've got some cards hanging here, credit collection, the target wave. And if I go in this room with Vader here, let me scoot him out of the way. Move him, flip the light on. So in this room, I have the cards hanging on the wall. Let me get another light. Okay, this is just a utility room. But I've got the 40th of Empire and Jedi here. And then over here we have 50th Anniversary, the 2D Clone Wars. And then I do have this Han on card. This Leia was a $4.99 Ollie's Find. Couldn't pass it up. Okay, so I have those there. And then let me spin around. On this wall, I have the cards from, from Ahsoka and Finnick, okay, from out of the basement. Thanks, guys. And then I found these two cheap, too. Barasafi and Luminar Unduli. I just left them on the card. So, yeah, that is what's in this little storage room. All right, so that was everything. And if you've stuck with me this long, I appreciate it. But again, I just wanted to do one more collection update just because we've gotten so many. I mean, 2023 has been an excellent year, and I hope 2024 is just as good, if not better. And one more thing, just a heads up, I do plan on doing a 5K giveaway, just because I appreciate you guys so much. I plan on giving away an exclusive figure. I just don't know when and how yet, but, but stay tuned. I do plan on doing a 5K giveaway. And I think I'll just end the video here. Uh, so if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, smack like and consider subscribing if you're new. And don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And I thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.